you just have to continue to keep dreaming bigger and that's why it's so important to always continue learning. All you can do is do your best. Even when you make mistakes, sometimes those can be the most important experiences to learn from. I've always been an entrepreneur at heart. I love the idea of starting a business. That's always been a dream of mine long before modeling. Need motivation? Watch a top 10 with Believe Nation. What's up at seven? My one word is believe and I believe in you. I believe you have an amazing gift inside you that I wanna see explode out onto the world. So let's get your motivation to a 10 and get you believing in you. Grab a snack and chew on today's lessons from a woman who went from being the daughter of a freelance director and emergency physician to becoming a model, Victoria's Secret angel and entrepreneur. She's Carly Kloss and here's my take on her top 10 rules of success. Enjoy. All right, let's kick things off with rule number one, my personal favorite, do what you love. Growing up in a house in the Midwest, you show love by feeding people. So for me, I've always loved to cook and bake for others. And I started a charity project called Carly's Cookies to donate school lunches to kids through selling vegan cookies. Totally crazy idea, but it combined all my passions and it was a way that I could actually make a meaningful impact by doing what I love. And I think that that is when you're most successful and fulfilled when you tick both those boxes, when you do what you love and lead from that place first and foremost, and whatever you're trying to accomplish. I think that comes naturally when it's from a place of just passion, because you have to work long days and long nights, and if you're not enjoying what you're doing, then it's probably not a recipe for success. Rule number two is take control. Hi guys, I'm Carly Kloss, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Clearly run your brand over a billion users uh, for YouTube. Did you look at those numbers and say, this is smart business? I did. I had an opportunity to do something with a channel, with a network that was ultimately going to be in the hands of producers and editors in a dark room somewhere. But I didn't have control of it. And, and I had that realization and I realized I want to control my story. Rule number three, dream bigger. My goals continue to change and to continue to get bigger. And I think as I, as I sort of reach certain milestones, certain accomplishments, uh, you know, it only makes me realize that I need to dream bigger. And I think that same thing for you guys. I think as you really build that confidence through your career, as you really start, start you know, building your career and, and building your relationships and seeing your dreams actually realized, you just have to continue to keep dreaming bigger and that's why it's so important to always continue learning in my opinion because there's always there's uh, there, uh, you've never made it i think we all can always continue to do to do more and to be better and bigger rule number four start your day right when i want to just calm down i guess and um have a good day. I try yeah. and wake up a little early so I can like listen to music, have my yes. coffee, and do all those things. Yeah. You clearly don't have time to do any of that. Well, <laughs> now, now more so, I have time to do okay. that. And, and I, I've made time to do that. You know, I think that's the thing is that like, I've learned that it, you can't just keep running around. No. Otherwise, you're gonna burn yourself out. So, I wake up early because I like to take my time, have breakfast. I love to work out first thing in the morning because I feel like I have more energy in the morning and just immediately get it out of the way, you know, and, and then you can shower and, you know, do your makeup, put, you know, cream on, mm -hmm. get dressed, and then, and then sort of start your day. Um, so, yeah, but. That's big, guys. She exercises in the mornings. We have no excuse. I mean, really, no excuses. <laughs> I, I just think it gives me more energy. I feel like yeah. when I, I feel lethargic and tired if I don't, but when you actually like make time, get your butt to the gym, you actually end up feeling so much more energized. Rule number five, take your work seriously. You said about sort of a lot is riding on, on you as a model. I, I, not, you know, you have no responsibility really than just to show up. But I think that that's one thing that I, I have grown an appreciation for um, is all the work that goes into leading up to that moment. All the incredible 
uh, people that are involved, the editors, the interns, the, the stylists, the hair and makeup, the photographers, everybody's sort of preparing in their own way. And so it's not like you can just sort of show up um, because so much money, so much time, so many people mm. are involved before that point. So I, yeah, I think that's that the that's... the crux moment and then you have to make it perform. all yeah. come together. Which is like kind of scary as that's hell, scary. but also like really, you know, it makes you, um, uh, I don't know, I think it's... It, it, it sort of made me take this seriously, that it's not just sort of like, oh, hey, let's go like, take pretty pictures and put makeup on. It's like, actually, this is important. Well, it's, uh, it's a business, not a lifestyle. It's a business. Rule number six, just do your best. One of the first ballet recitals that I danced in point shoes, and I was so nervous because it was the first time that I was going to get on stage Everyone that I loved and care about was going to be in that audience. And I didn't want to let them down. I didn't want to let myself down. How I sort of learned to cope with that is just really to take that anxiety, that, that sort of adrenaline, and actually pour it into something productive. Meaning, like, what can you do to best prepare for that moment? So when it came to the point where it was showtime, it was time to get out on that stage, I knew that I did everything I possibly could to get out there and feel amazing and just perform. And I think something clicked in me. However, it doesn't always go right. There was a time, I remember I walked in a Fendi runway show and I, you know, made a little slip and kind of slipped off the runway. And, but all you can do is do your best. Even when you make mistakes, sometimes those can be the most important experiences to learn from. Rule number seven, keep learning. I happen to be a closeted super nerd. So I personally have begun learning how to program on my own because programming is the language of the future and of now. I wish I would have started learning at 13, but it doesn't matter how old you are, you can always start learning jump into it, learn, just try and take one class, give it one hour. It's amazing what you can learn in one hour. It's important to break that stigma of thinking that it's not cool to be smart. If you can understand, much less speak code, you can build anything. Rule number eight is don't lose yourself. It's a really difficult thing to do though, to sort of separate you as a physical being versus you as who you truly are. I think that sort of especially being that we start our careers at such a young, vulnerable age, it is challenging at times to sort of separate the two. Like, you know, you go to work and you play dress up and you become a million different characters, but how do you not lose you? And, and I think that that's something that is, is um, definitely, you know, uh, you know, and we're still finding ourselves. I mean, I find, at least I am, I, you know, I'm 21 years old, and so I think that that's, I don't know, something that, you know, being, uh, not getting lost in, in, uh, in, in all of it. Rule number nine, have an entrepreneurial spirit. Growing up, I loved science, but I never had computer science, coding, engineering classes, and it wasn't until I went years later to go take a boot camp and learn basics and how to code and I really realized how valuable that skill set is. Even just that understanding of how technology works is super valuable. I've always been an entrepreneur at heart. I love the idea of starting a business. That's always been a dream of mine long before modeling. The beauty of the world we live in today and the power of code is that you can actually take an idea, it doesn't matter who you are or what kind of formal education you have, and build it out yourself or understand what is possible to build. And that's why it doesn't matter that I'm a model, there's opportunity for anyone to be an entrepreneur. And rule number 10, the last one before the bonus clip, have fun. All right. Uncap your pens and draw a blind portrait of each other without looking down paper or lifting your pen. Go. Can't look at the okay, paper part. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Wait, okay. I got this. Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs>
prefer Carly's. <laughs> Now I've got a special Carly bonus clip on being good to yourself, but before that, my question of the day, I love how Carly has a whole bunch of hyphens to her. She's a model, she's an entrepreneur, she likes to code, she likes science, she likes nerding out. You know, what are the different things that make up your hyphens? How do you describe yourself? I want you to pick five different hyphens that make you, you. You're this, 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 and this. Put hyphens in between, leave in the comments below. I wanna see what you got. Thank you guys so much for watching. I believe in you. I hope you continue to believe in yourself and whatever your one word is. Much love, I'll see you soon, and enjoy the bonus clip. The best thing I can do for myself is, is be good to me, be good to my body. And uh, you know, getting a workout in is for me the best way to be jet lagged, the best way to just kind of stay energized. Um, and so we're gonna kick off this morning with a good workout. I definitely um, find that in my life, you know, health and wellness and, and fitness and strength in the body and in the mind is, is so important. Um, it helps me be the best version of myself and I really am never done on that journey. Women are really, uh, I grew up in a house of women. I have three sisters and my mom and you know, I think we are, resilient and powerful and sometimes too hard on ourself uh, so I think you have to also I think self-care self-love is is uh, is always a good thing so as long as you're setting goals to be the best version of yourself and take care of yourself raise your standard Apple at the core its core value is that we believe that people with passion can change the world for the better. Not one drop of my self-worth depends on your acceptance of me. I don't ever give up. I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. Hey Believe Nation, if you want to see my all-time favorite top 10 rules of success, I have a very special secret video for you. These are the individual clips that I have personally learned the most from and applied to my life and my business. Check the link in the description for details.